Hey guys, Yummy here again, and today I'm bringing you some gameplay of post patch Battlefield 4, specifically attacking on Rush on Zavod 311. Uh, Zavod 311 was probably the most worked on of all of the vanilla Rush maps uh, because I, I, I remember playing the original um, Rush on Zavod 311 and it was absolute garbage. Uh, the, the attackers, I believe, had like absolutely no chance and it was completely unfair. So it is a very good thing that they changed that and uh, now it's, it's actually pretty enjoyable. Um, to be honest, the following game where I was defending on this map, I got crazy mad like because I, w I was still getting used used to the uh, to the post patch like feel of Battlefield 4 um, this was one of my first games uh, I've gotten a lot better since then this was this was Tuesday uh, evening I believe so um one of the biggest problems that I encountered after this patch is it seems like it takes forever to kill people like um, I know, I know they posted in the, in the patch notes that they've, like, increased the kill time for everybody by, like, one bullet or something like that. But, honestly, like, if you'll see it in, in the video, uh, it, it takes me, like, almost an entire clip of hit markers to kill somebody in some cases. And then other cases, they, they die right away, but I, I don't really understand. I, I think it, I mean, I really hope it's not their, them giving us hit markers for bullets that don't actually hit them. Uh, that would... That would probably be two steps back. Uh, so, I don't know what it is. Um, as of playing today and yesterday, I think I didn't really experience that. But Tuesday night, I, it was it irritated the heck out of me. So, I did get mad a lot. Um, I am using the F2000, which has been tweaked a lot. And now, it, it is a pretty viable assault rifle. There are, there are a few assault rifles that definitely beat out the F2000, but... Um, it, it, it is usable now. Previously, uh, pre-patch, it, it was difficult to use. Like, you could do well with it if, if you, um, work, if you really work at it and if you're kind of lucky, but for the most part, it, it just wasn't good enough to, to use above other assault rifles, and it still really doesn't have any, any situations in which it shines, except its fast fire rate kind of makes it better at close quarters, but it, it is still a shadow of what it was in Battlefield 3. It was it was my favorite assault rifle in Battlefield 3. Uh, I, yeah, I'm glad in Battlefield 4 they added the uh, Mars sight for it because I think it's awesome. I love the Mars sight. It looks so cool. Um, but, but yeah, I, I don't use the F-2000 that often in Battlefield 4. Well, on to Rush, I am particularly glad that that they changed it around, that they 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 changed the MCOM locations around on Zavod in CTE like like four or five times. They they changed it around so much. They're trying to find that just that perfect mix, and I I do think they found it because it, it was it was pretty enjoyable. Um, never been much of a Rush person myself. I've I've always been more of a Conquest person. Uh, but I do remember playing it in Bad Company 2, and it was really cool that it had its own unique maps like uh, um. Like Valpreso, I believe that was a uh, Rush uh, only map, and that was pretty cool. I, I it was uh, cool that they kind of structured the game around the game mode. Uh, it, that would change the Battlefield 3, but Battlefield 3's Rush was not that bad either. Um, of course, some maps like Metro uh, definitely turn into kind of a clusterfuck, but I'm still gonna kind of stick with Conquest, but definitely would not mind switching to Rush every once in a while to spice things up. Um, um, but I am glad because it it does serve service that that pretty sizable part of the battlefield community that prefers Rush over Conquest, and I, I do think that they felt kind of betrayed whenever Battlefield 4 came out and the original Rush setup was just just bad, you know. <laughs> so really, I'm I'm looking forward to the future of Battlefield 4. Um, a lot of people are joking, of course, that. Yeah, we finally left beta, but, um, yeah, and it, some people in the comments were still saying, ooh, this game's broken and stuff like that, but it, it, I don't think the game's been broken for, like, a long time, but this definitely fixed all the problems that were, like, remaining. Um, you're still gonna have glitches every once in a while, uh, li like in my previous video, that, that never happened before the patch, and I honestly don't know what caused it, um, so... Yeah, the, the future of Battlefield looks bright, and hopefully this will 
um, wet people's appetites a bit for uh, Battlefield Hardline, which I honestly still don't know what to think about it. So until next time, if you guys like this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, this is Yummy. Goodbye and good hunting.